Ladies and gentlemen, now for the episode you've all been waiting for. The motor goes on the bike! Before we put the motor on the bike, we're going to need to uh, re-space these studs because I noticed that it is about a tenth of an inch uh, shorter than the tube diameter of the frame. So this isn't going to fit. Um, you can go ahead and just use these uh, little U-bolt adapters here um, that just uh, screw in like that. Um, I've used them in the past. They're okay, but they vibrate a little bit more than usual. So uh, what we're actually going to do is just, uh, you can see the manufacturer has actually left some room for putting in another hole. We're going to do just that. We're going to drill another hole, tap in some threads, and then move that stud over. There, that should be enough. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the uh, old stud here with the double nut method. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the double nut method, uh, just go ahead, check out my, uh, my HD stud kit installation video. Um, it's uh, covered pretty extensively in that video. All right, there we go. Okay, so now that we have our new hole and the old stud out, we're going to go ahead and put some threads into the, uh, into the new hole with our tap and die set. Okay, that should be good enough. And now we'll just back out the tap here and then uh, clean out the hole and we'll have uh, some nice new threads that we can use. All right, now we're just gonna put the stud back into the new hole. And you just wanna go until it's snug. All right, that's pretty snug. Okay, so I'm just test fitting the motor now. Um, as you can see, the uh, stud now has plenty of room. Uh, but uh, this doesn't fit the frame tube quite right, and it means we don't have much thread room uh, to tighten up the nut for the bottom part of the motor mount. So what we're going to do here is just uh, shave off a little bit of this uh, so the motor will sit flush against the bottom frame tube. Okay, so now you can see that we've got that gap closed up there by uh, shaving off the uh, little bit of material here with the Dremel. Um, the uh, wood sanding bit actually turned out to work quite a bit better than the grinding stone. Um, so yeah, then the next step uh, was just to put these on, but uh, as you can see, they're a bit short now that we have those... Uh, those studs wind out. So what I've done is just gone ahead and made uh, just a little uh, strap of my own that fits out of universal strapping. Uh, you can get, I think you can get it at the hardware store or uh, any place that sells metal. Um, but yeah, pretty easy just to bend it up in the vise uh, and then cut the edges and then you can see it'll fit on both posts there. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten up the bolts. Okay, and there we go. That is the motor on the bike. All right, thanks for watching today, guys um, and girls. Anyway, uh, this is looking pretty awesome to me now. Uh, it's definitely got me excited to keep going and uh, getting this project done so I can actually ride this. This looks awesome. This. I don't know if you know this, but this is a, a huge frame <laughs> and the motor just barely fits. It's, it's cool. It's going to be fun and fast. Uh, so uh, stay tuned. Make sure to hit that bell notification icon. Uh, that way you get notified on your phone next time we have the next video, which I think is going to be putting a sprocket back here. 
Um, and then eventually we're going to be wiring up electrical and uh, and then trying it out and getting everything uh, adjusted. So it's, it's going to be awesome and it's going to be running eventually. So uh, stay tuned for next time.